welcome back to my channel guys and today we'll be talking about the elephant spirit I'm so hesitant to actually talk about this because it's been a very long time that I should have probably already put a video out about it but I just feel like when you embody this particular spirit of the animal or the qualities that it possesses you have to be very meticulous in doing so and well aware that you want to go through with it at a hundred percent it's not something that it is to be taken very lightly to say the least so with the animal spirit of an elephant it's as if you are being of a service to those that are mild meek the underdog so to speak and I don't know why I'm so hesitant to, to say that or to do such a thing being that that has been me for my entire existence of my very first memory I've always looked out for the others that weren't able to speak up for themselves those that were more timid than myself so and that's not to say that I'm just this person that is like raw, you know, but some people just don't possess those things such as children or your elderly or those that may not have as much strength as you may have in that particular moment. Those are the ones that you want to embody the elephant spirit with because it's to serve those that are not able to do so for themselves with doing so you want to make sure that when you when you go into that process you don't want to allow anything to stop you from your ultimate goal if you are to defend someone or to try to pursue a goal for someone else that is I don't want to say mindset so to speak but just someone that is not able to get things done on their own you want to make sure that you don't allow anything to stand in your way if that is the right thing to do so you have to use discernment when doing so for sure for instance i can remember there was a time that maybe a co-worker were in a position where if they were to say something it would not be taken as lightly as if it was if I was to say something so I being connected to the elephant spirit decided that although this was not something that was for me or something that would affect me it was still something that needed to be said so I said it and I continued to say it and I was not about to take the answer as being a no for me because I knew right is right and wrong is wrong. And in this situation, the employee was definitely in the right. So I wanted that wrong to be righted. So I just continue to press the fact of equality in this manner. Now, the reason why I chose to be this voice in this situation is because I knew I had the determination to stick up for someone that was not able to stick up for themselves. Just like if you had a child, you know that that particular child or your child, you understand who they are. You understand if they are a child that is capable of defending themselves. As we know with each child they are very different so you may have one that defends themselves without a problem but then you have another child that may not be able to defend themselves not to say that they are any less than the other child they're just they don't possess that those characteristics in order to be combative so to speak so you're definitely gonna go to bat for that child more so than you would for the other child but you're definitely willing to be that for the other child if needs be. And this is where the elephant spirit comes in, being able to use that determination of understanding when to and when not to, when not to overshadow the fact of you being the elephant spirit and allowing for those individuals to have growth, which has been a huge thing for me that I've been 
understanding and allowing and receiving to know when to use those qualities within myself and when to fall back. It has definitely been a trying road, but I've gotten through. Um, I'm able to see how my interference could affect the situation in a good way um, with positivity or also it could affect in a negative aspect. And just having a healthy balance of the two is where I am achieving to be. I'm not gonna say that I'm 100% there, but I'm definitely learning not to overstep my boundaries for sure when it comes to possessing that 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 spirit for sure. And I think that I think that definitely goes with the fact that whenever we're in that mode, you have to be able to sense when there's a bad situation where you are needed. And above anything else, you definitely wanna be able to remain loyal to those that are closest to you. When others may be saying that this particular person is X, Y, and Z, you need to be able to remain loyal, number one, to yourself, so that you have understanding of the situation and you need to be able to embody that elephant spirit and understand that you know and you understand what is going on in this situation so that you are capable of remaining loyal to the situation and not being swayed in another direction just because it may seem like it's not something that you should be doing per se. And whenever you're faced with the animal spirit of the elephant, you want to make sure that you stay connected with oneself because during that time, during that time, you will be able to filter through things in a better manner you wouldn't be swayed to do otherwise now there are also good omens as far as um the elephant is concerned i've always kind of i say with an elephant who has a trunk that is in the upright position because that gives you good luck as far as I'm, I have been taught, um, as far as that's concerned, make sure that the elephant trunk is in the upright because if it is down, then it is a bad open. So whenever I see an elephant with his trunk up, I'm definitely gonna get that because I know that that is my cue to have that in my space. So yeah, definitely um, consider that as well. We'll go ahead and we'll get into it. We'll talk about dreams and things of that nature as far as ele elephant spirit is concerned. But I just want to bring you the fact of embodying that spirit because I don't feel like we do it enough when we know that others need. Like, for instance, we are in an age where it is a good idea to pull out your phone and record a situation before we actually offer assistance or help to the ones that are being victim. Um, and not only that, elephants are very smart. They possess the qualities of having a superb memory they're able to remember all things, which is mind blowing because I do have a memory where I can remember conversations and everything about the conversation. So that's eye opening for me. So I guess that's my cue. I hope today's video actually helped you guys have a better understanding. If you have more questions as far as the elephant spirit is concerned, um, 
be sure to leave a comment down below. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you comment elephant in the comments. Thank you so much and you guys have an amazing day.